from worms that slowly grow inside your intestines to parasites that live inside the back of your eyeballs. We count 15 gross and dangerous creatures that may be living inside you right now. Number 15. Wukuriria bancrofti, a parasitic nematode spread by mosquitoes. If you're infected and not treated right away, you may develop elephantitis, which I'm sure a few of you have heard about, the effects of which are on screen now. You'll mainly find these parasites in Central Africa, the Nile Delta, South and Central America, and tropical regions of Asia, including China. The symptoms you get will range from fever to thickened, bloated skin and swelling. There are currently no vaccines, but it is slowly getting eradicated. In 2011, Sri Lanka announced they'd completely eliminated the disease from their land. Number 14. Ascaris infection, one of the more common human worm infections, most commonly found in tropical and subtropical areas where hygiene is poor. They'll migrate through your body, growing in your lungs during the larval stage, and then pass up through your throat, swallowed, and then breed in your stomach, eggs falling out alongside your feces. This all takes place in a two to three month period, so you're gonna be well aware of the colony of parasites growing inside you, with some coming out through your nose and mouth, neither of which are very pleasant. Number 13, Spargana, a super rare parasite that latches onto a body part, usually the brain, and feasts upon it for up to 20 years, with only vague symptoms like headaches or seizures. You're only gonna find these around China, Korea, Japan, Thailand, and some other Asian regions with only around 1,000 cases in the last 100 years. You get it by eating undercooked bird, reptile, or amphibian meat, or contaminated water if you don't have access to modern civilization. Number 12. Loa Loa. This is another parasitic worm that lives inside the back of your eyeball for up to 17 years, and believe me, you're gonna feel it. It's contracted from flies which injects the worm directly into your tissue, then it travels along your body until it stops and swells at a certain point. It'll commonly find its way to the back of your eye, and at that point, you'll be able to both see and feel it worming around back there with the only treatment, antibiotics, or through surgery. Number 11. Kandiru fish, also known as the vampire fish. A cute little tadpole creature with a horrifying habit, allegedly to climb up your dick hole and lodge itself in your urethra. It's commonly found in Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. According to reports, it waits until a human urinates over water before it jumps through your stream and worms its way into your body, using poisonous barbs to hold itself in place while it feeds on your fleshy membranes. One man even claimed it got in and chewed its way through the ventral wall of the urethra and into his ball sack. But since it's believed the fish's teeth aren't strong enough to do this, this statement was never confirmed. Number 10. Brain-eating amoeba, a rare microscopic parasite found in fresh water that waits for you to dive under before it climbs up through your nose into your brain and starts feasting. It's found all over the world, and once it gets into your system, you'll have a change in taste and smell, headaches, fever, vomiting, confusion, hallucinations, seizures, and finally death, all within two weeks. The fatality rate is absurdly high, over 95%, and there is no cure. Number nine, pork tapeworm. This thing lives inside human intestines, slowly producing eggs that come out along with feces, but the key to this tapeworm involves pigs. It infects a pig and hatches larva inside their stomach, making their way into the bloodstream and muscles, and then they get eaten by humans inside your pork for dinner. If a human accidentally eats the eggs directly, they hatch inside their stomach and burrow into the human's blood and muscles, often ending up in the brain forming cysts and subsequently death. Number eight. Itch mite, a parasitic arthropod that buries into your skin and causes scabbies. Itchy rashes formed because the impregnated female has tunneled into your skin and deposited eggs everywhere. Not only will you have itchy skin, but you're also going to get red blotches, pain, and copious amounts of pus from these little creatures pitching up tents in the hair follicles of your skin. Number seven, cutaneous leishmaniasis, a type of skin infection caused by a single-celled parasite transmitted by the bite of a sandfly. You'll get a non-healing raised scaly lesion that may or may not get infected by non-related bacteria, and sometimes the lesion will heal only for an identical one to appear on another part of your body. You find these all over the world, and treatment depends on the individual species. 
Number six. The Japanese lung fluke. This one comes from a parasitic worm known as the fluke, which affects the lungs, but also other parts of the body, like the brain. It really gets around, ranging in places like Japan, Korea, China, Indonesia, the Philippines, Africa, South America, and even the Midwest. But generally, only crayfish and crabs carry the parasite. If you consume the fluke though, usually by accident, you're going to get stomach pain and coughing, symptoms that will appear similar to bronchitis or tuberculosis. Number 5. The Botfly Maggot. This comes from a parasitic fly that just loves burrowing into human skin for a while, then crawl out when it's fully grown. The adult maggot will infect mosquitoes, who unwittingly allow the maggot eggs to fall into the mosquito bite hole and wriggle under your skin. This process isn't exclusive to humans. A good deal of mammals have to go through the same thing. Number four, screw worm fly. One that, like the bot fly, lays its eggs in human tissue. But unlike the latter, the screw worm larva will quickly consume the flesh of its host. It causes deep pocket-like lesions in the skin, and once detected must be treated rapidly to prevent widespread permanent damage. In America during the early 90s, 25,000 square kilometers of farmland were filled with screw worms, over 2.7 million animals affected, and the locals had to resort to releasing 1.26 billion sterile screw worm males simply to control the population, which was a process that cost over a hundred million dollars. Number three, Leishmania, a parasite spread through sand flies, commonly infected hyraxes, canids, rodents, but also humans. When they take root, they immediately start reproducing in your skin, causing an intense physical reaction around the bite like tissue you being eaten away very, very quickly. Even when you're free of the parasite, it takes over a year to heal, and even then you're gonna have a crazy scar for the rest of your life. Number two, the pinworm. You might have heard about this one. Usually happens to small children and infants. It's an intestinal parasite that lays eggs around the anus. When you're infected, you get a loss of appetite, irritability, insomnia. It's basically just an annoying ass parasite. You'll know if a kid has it because he or she won't be able to stop crying in the middle of the night, and if they continually get it, then it may affect their long-term health. Number one, the tapeworm. You're gonna get these slimy things in your intestines and you won't even know they're there until they appear dangling alongside your feces. Since people rarely get symptoms apart from discomfort and diarrhea, it's hard to diagnose, and you'll commonly get them in your body from undercooked meat or freshwater fish. As you might imagine, they're not very fun.